This children's book covers that you are seeing on your screen right now was created using AI. And the beautiful thing about it is that it is totally free of charge. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create children's book cover or whatever book cover you want to create. I'm going to show you how to do it using AI. If this is your first time of coming onto my channel, I welcome you to my channel. My name is Awajima Misoto and on this channel, you know that I teach you how to do stuff online and I show you things that you can do that can help you make money for yourself. All right. So quickly, before I go straight into the video and show you everything, kindly do me a favor, support this channel by liking, by subscribing and making sure to turn on your notification bell when you do that it helps you to be able to see more of my content and then it also supports this channel to grow okay another thing you have to do is to go to the link to go to the link in the description and check for all the full resources that i have dropped there okay so let's go straight into the video let me show you how to create book covers especially children's book cover because you can make a lot of money by creating children's book cover for people you can make money online doing that all right if we have enough time in this video i'm going to show you places where you can make money using this same skill i'm about to show you so quickly let's go straight into the video let me show you how to create a book cover especially children's book cover using ai okay so what we are going to do right now first of all if you want to create a children's book cover you have to understand that a children's book needs to look fun okay it, looks, it needs to look very catchy so that kids will love it okay and then if we're going to be using ai you need to understand that we use prompts okay for your for your for your book cover to look very very attractive you need to ensure that the prompts that you are giving it has to be very very specific enough okay very very specific prompt so that the ai can understand what to generate for you okay so first of all we are going to go ahead to create the prompt all right so i'll take you to my google here my google chrome and we come here first thing we are doing is to create the prompt okay we are creating the prompt um we're creating the prompt so i'm going to come to chat gpt we're going to come to chat gpt here okay chat gpt is actually the one of the the ais that we're going to use to generate our prompts okay prompts are just commands things that you give to the ai so that it can reproduce whatever you want all right so if you want to learn how to use chat gpt just go to the link in the description and check for that I've, i have videos about how to use chat gpt it actually helps you to ease your job it helps you to do all of the brainstorming when it comes to creating content all right so what we are going to do here is to ask chat gpt to give us prompts all right we we'll ask chat gpt to give us prompt as you can see now look at one of the prompts i gave to it i told it i said it should give me okay let me see okay good okay maybe th this is not it let's let's this is another work let's ask it to do the prompt for us so i want to remember i said it has to be very very specific i want to create a children's book cover all right i want to create a children's book cover give me give me give me 10 catchy catchy prompts are you seeing now give me 10 catchy prompts that i can use all right so we, this is not perfect enough but let's just use this for the sake of this video so we click on this and we wait for it to load so it's going to generate the prompts for us all right okay i forgot to do something there's something i want to add now to this prompt i want to also add the author's name okay I want to add the author's name so i'll ask chat gpt again i'll come here and say add 
add the author's name add the author's name for the book as i'm going to add my name so you put your name there if you are doing it in your case you put your name there so let's regenerate that 10 prompts again so i'll click on send and it's going to regenerate it can you see is working can you see it can you see the prompt is already generating are you seeing now are you seeing now so um okay you can see we have the magical adventures of sparkle friends the secret forest of talking animals you can see so these prompts are good prompts but i don't really like them because i want my prompt to be specific when i'm creating the cover so i'm going to go straight to um what i did some hours ago and i'm going to sh check for it um okay let me come back again let me come back here again just follow me guys let me come back here um let me type it again i want to create A children's book cover a children's book cover design give me 10 different prompts for the design okay add author's name add author's name guys just follow me all right add author's name as our g mom is you too so in your case you are going to add your name so let's just wait for it to give us good this is what i was waiting for are you seeing now you can see this one now is a little bit more um is more broad you know more precise than the first one we did which was very short all right so you can see all the prompts it has generated are you seeing now with different title of different books are you seeing now okay so let's wait um let's wait for this to load so after you have done this now what you are going to do next is to copy all of these prompts we copy the prompts and we go straight to notepad go to your notepad all right go to your notepad here this is my notepad and you you paste all of them can you see you paste all of the prompts you just created so on this notepad now i have different prompts i have created are you seeing now these are different prompts i have created if you need this prompt right if you need this prompt i'm going to send them to you all right if you need this prompt i'm going to send them to you all right so we're going to pick one of these let's just pick one of these and we say lucy and the lost city of gold let's just pick this prompt now you're going to copy the prompt right copy it like this and then we take it to the we are going to take it to the ai application that we're going to use okay so what i'm going to do now we'll go back to our google chrome and we we'll come here and then enter google chrome so the name of the ai tool that we are going to be using is called ideogram look at it here ideogram are you seeing it it's called ideogram so follow me now so make sure you look for ideogram.ai all right ideogram.ai so you sign up and do all of that once you sign up and do it very well you have the opportunity to come here and create your prompt so for us to create our prompt for us to create and generate our book cover what we are going to do is to come to this plus sign that you see down here we we'll click on the plus sign and once we click on the plus sign we paste the prompt that we copied from the notepad are you are you getting it now we paste it here all right we paste it here okay this one is not showing as if i copied it. so let me go back and copy it again 
let me come here and copy it again let me copy it here i'll copy and i'll come back to this place and i will paste it all right so once you paste it um we're gonna say remove this all this quotation all this star that i have seen remove them remove them remove them we want to make sure that everything is neat so that when the prompt is being the design is being generated everything will be very very neat are you getting it now so these are prompts we have created design all right so design let's just say design you have to tell it to design a book cover because the book cover which we are creating a children's children's book cover are you getting it now all right here i'll come and add make it colorful okay so now i have told it to make it colorful so once you are done with that you click on generate click on generate and we wait for it to generate for us you can see now it's already generating this might take a while because i've been using this for a long time like i've been using this over and over okay so once this number gets to zero it's going to generate the image for so let's wait patiently and see what is going to generate wow can you see our image is coming out this is awesome and beautiful can you see the image that's generated a very beautiful cover this is so beautiful can you see wow so this is our cover that has just been generated using ai can you see my name there can you see this is another one can you see this is another one this is another one can you see so all of these images were just generated right now using ai image generator using ideogram.ai so you can actually pick these covers take it online and start talking about it start uploading it in different places where you can make money online okay so this is how to create a children's book cover using ai generated image um app okay if you want to learn more about this if you want to learn how you can make money using ai i have created a course for that all right a short video course that will show you how to do all of that how to make money using ai if you want to get that course just go to the link in the description i'm going to drop the details there this is not a free course okay for those of you who are always looking for free things this is not a free course all right there is a token for you to get the course all right if you really need it just go to the link in the description i'll drop links to the course all right if you have questions for me about how to make money online or any other thing just drop it in the comment section and i'm going to see you in my next video please do well to like this video do well to subscribe to this video and make sure you turn on the notification bell all right to download this now what you are going to do is just to hold it you hold it and then you see download once you click on download image it's going to download it to your phone i'm going to see you in my next video enjoy